Jerry, to nail any side in, in Super League is a big achievement. Must give you a lot of pride. Yes, there is a lot of pride at this club, and I just want to start by congr congratulating Bob Bowman as well for his achievements. 13 marathons in this last week, it's just unbelievable. I don't, don't know if any brilliant team could achieve that, so well done, Bob. Uh, you make the club really proud, and as players, we want to carry on doing that on the pitch as well. Obviously, disappointed to lose to Cass last week at Magic Weekend, but I think we can see the improvement in the, in the team every week. And uh, certainly tonight we really showed the fruits of our labour. You know, and, and this has not just come over the last month or two. This is the fruits of what we've been working on for the last 12 months, really. And a lot of the, the energy and the, the work we put into 2016, albeit a tough year, is really starting to show the real fruit now. And uh, the boys are buzzing, they're really happy, and it's a great result against a fantastic team like Wellington. Brian talked about, even though it was 14-0, it was the final score, he talked about the first 10 minutes of the game, the way we... We held Warrington out was a was a key moment for us. Yeah, and I think you know Cast did same last week. The teams are really starting well and, and uh, edging the bets on getting the nose out in front and staying there. But uh, we've we've been persistent and we're weathering some of those storms. And uh, credit to the boys because it's not easy to do. You know when the, when the sun's beating down on you and uh, you're under the pump, you're under pressure. You've got a, a great quick side like Warrington, people like Rashford and Matty Russell who were, who were phenomenal at dummy half. It's it's hard, but the lads stuck in with it and you know they, they got what they deserved in the end, which is a massive win. Uh, you mentioned Stefan Rashford there, you managed to chase him back to, to take him, stop him for, for a try and then you rounded him to, to get your score. 2-0 <laughs> to Jones. Yeah, Adam Cuthbertson's uh, still laughing his head off in changing rooms. I think it's the first time he's ever seen me in a bit of space and he, he can't believe how far my head goes back. Uh, but no, listen, I'm just a grafter me and uh, I know if I met my tackles and met my runs and just do all the hard work, your you Danny Maguire's, your Matt Parcells, Rob Burrows will come up with the magic stuff and uh, just happy to contribute. And mate, the novelty's never worn off, you are not 35 years old and 300 now with many games, running out in that blue and amber shirt. Particularly in the South I don't see not like that with the, the lights today, I thought I, was, I, I looked twice at double tilts going on. It was an unbelievable, really uh, nostalgic moment and pleasure to still be a part of it. We'll, uh, we'll have to dig out that try from halfway at, at St. Helens for Cothbro to have a look at, see you at, full, at real full speed. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a few under my belt, but uh, it's just nice to get off the line. It's been uh, a while coming, but I'm enjoying my rugby, Phil. You know, the, uh, the excitement, the, the winning, the, uh, the fear, the anxiety, the build-up during the week. And, you know, we've got to get straight back on horse and not uh, get too up in the air about up today because we've got a, a big game this week as well well in two or three days time against Widnes and uh, I think it could be exponential this week could be really important for us you know, in seven days time we'll look at the league and uh, it, it could be really exciting Widnes obviously last year it was probably the when the alarm bells first started ringing the, the heavy defeat we suffered over there on, on Valentine's Day last year uh, is, is there a, will that be in the back of the lad's mind going into next week? I think so it's a mission it's a big travel over there it's one of the furthest clubs in the, in the league You've got to play on that 3G and, uh, you know, yeah, we've been on it a lot of times now, but it's still a fact that you've got to deal with that. Ball bounces a little bit different, your footfall's a little bit different. And these are all little bits that you've got to build in the game because it does, the little things do, you know, the one percenters make a huge difference. But uh, the boys are confident at the minute, they believe in the trust in each other, that's the key, Phil, the trust. And uh, it's something that I've had before at this club and uh, we've had some exciting times on the back of it. Listen, we're not at the finished article yet, we've got a, a lot of learning to do, so I've got a lot of going, but if I can pass some of them old messages on to the next generation, which, which they're learning and, and soaking up, then uh, happy days. Talking about the next generation, the way we the way we adapted when Ashton went off and Sutty just slotted straight in there at fullback, and you know they had the experience from last year. We talked about the, the you know the, the fire last year and forging forging players. The fact that Sutty had that to fall back on and, yep. and played so well there tonight. Well, he's a shapeshifter, isn't he? Uh, he's Sutty because he can play it back row. He can take the ball up, put it under under the wing. And, uh, and steam over people and then next minute he's at full back catching ball and he's brilliant, he's such a diverse talent and he can play in ours, centre, wherever you want him to play, he's, uh, he's a really rounded player and obviously Ashton Golden as well signing that, that deal uh, over the moon mate, and when you're talking about perpetual, um, I don't know, progression from within. I think he's, he's the pinnacle for me, obviously he's, he's walked very similar path to myself from the same town, from the same Irish club and it's just a, a brilliant honour for me to be playing uh, with somebody like him who will be playing for the next 10, 15 years I'm sure.